Ten days after the Las Vegas massacre, Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences is learning how they would respond in an active shooter situation. The Now's Mackenzie Nelson shows us how to prepare for a worst case scenario. Principles apply. Today There's was all about survival. 800 to 1,000 people are killed every year in workplace violence. That number used to be startling, but in the wake of the Las Vegas shooting, tragedy has become less uncommon. This training helps people change a little bit of their mindset, helps them realize that it could happen here. Today, faculty and staff at Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences went through training on how to survive an active shooter situation. They started by learning the three out system. Lock out, get out, and take out. Teaching, Spencer says, will keep you from hiding under your desk and leave you with a better chance at survival. We teach them how to barricade, what's the best way to defend against these, how to attack someone that comes into your workspace or your classroom. After sitting through the training, Spencer says the goal is to keep people from becoming a helpless victim. We want to give them the tactics and the training to prevail in one of these situations and actually have an active role in the outcome. Paying closer attention to your surroundings can at times create fear. It's nerve wracking. I hope we never have to use it here on our campus. Following the training, dozens of employees said it actually helped lower their anxiety. It's huge. It makes you feel empowered and much more confident. That's why Spencer says you can't have the mindset that it will never happen to me. You can't start to prepare for a crisis until you accept the potential um, or the fact that you're in a crisis. In Kansas City, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, the Now KC. Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences holds an active shooter training every year. All staff and faculty are required to go through it every other year.